All right, so I got this thing done okay. I think it's gonna hold up. Now I've got this rigged up here with a little bit of space to uh, do the weld on the inside there, keep everything lined up straight. Okay, I'm not gonna do a video of this one, I'll show you right after. And there it is, it looks so bad. I really hope this stuff's strong enough. If you've got any experience with this, let me know in the comments. Would you trust it on your parent motor frame? Leave it in the comments below. It's pretty bad to me, I, I don't know. We'll let it cool off and then we'll do the strength tests. Alright, this is the last two I need to fix. Here they are all cleaned up, nice and pretty. Gonna look real good soon when I'm done with it. Side kind of right there. Yeah, uh, I'm not liking the way this stuff looks when it's done, but I'm going to do a strength test. I gave it kind of a strength test and it seemed durable. We'll see what happens. Okay, right, well, I got the welds done, painted them up, and uh, got them back on there. Everything was lining up okay. Uh, this is where the tops were, and uh, they just get velcroed on here. Like I said in the beginning of the video, they were welded at one point, but I had Dremel through. That's where it was. Everything's looking good. It's pretty square. It was a little tough to get them on there. It looks as though uh, it's going good though. So all I gotta do, I velcro these little loops around here that holds the bottom frame on the top. Put the seat back on, on this spot, this spot, connect with this back on there, which connects up to the front, a uh, little strap there, so if you take it apart, keep track of how long that rope is. I put twist ties on mine, so I know. But, uh, as you can see, after I got the little paint on there, I just used paint markers from Hobby Lobby to cover up all this area, just paint marker. You can see where the paint was chipped. But it looks great. It's even got the same kind of gloss to it. Everything up here, paint marked it up. You can fix a few other little spots. So, what I'm going to be doing next is reconnecting the gas tank, reconnecting the hoop system. Hopefully, uh, I gotta grab that thing out from inside there. You can see it. It's the little button poking out that hole there. Connect this hoop part back on here and uh, strap the gas tank back in and plug it back in to there. And uh, after that, all I got left to do is put the propeller rig on. So I'll get one more video of everything put back together all the way. After I get it done, remember to like and subscribe to my videos. Uh, I'm going to be going to Paramore to school September 18th at Fly MI PPG in Michigan. I'll have a lot more videos coming up in the future, so make sure you subscribe. Keep an eye out for me, and uh, I'm going to get the rest of this together here. So that little bugger is stuck in there. It's the button. I'm just trying to pull it out. Using my camera as a freaking flashlight, so I figure I'd do a video. If you guys know any better ways to get that thing out of there, let me know. It's always something though. This whole mission, it's been tough. Let me try to put a screw in there. Hey everybody, this thing's back together. I just gotta gas it up and it's ready to go. Got this brand new propeller. I'm not gonna break this one. So, aluminum weld works okay. This is a follow up about that. Um, the weld wound up breaking right here on that piece. And it was because of 
the tension that I put on when I was pushing this in. It wasn't lined up perfect, so I had to push it in this way a little, and then just overnight, it cracked. So I redid this weld, and now it's fine. The weld on the bottom seems to be holding up fine, and I added a little foot down there, and it still had a little bit of wobble to it, and I don't want it to fall backwards, so. Now it doesn't fall backwards. It's great. Everything's working out pretty good now. I uh, wanted to let you know that instead of trying to aluminum weld, when I fixed this one, of course this one over here melted, so I put a brace on there. Took some copper tube, and I cut it in half a long way. Uh, I wrapped it around where this piece goes together. Uh, and then I put two bolts through it, one on each side of the crack. After that put together, I also put JB weld in there instead of trying to aluminum weld it. And that was just to fill in the cracks, kind of give it more stability. So far, I don't see any more cracks in the spots I fixed. They're looking pretty good. And this probably is. I think it's ready to fly again. I got paramotor training coming up soon. So I'm going to have a lot more videos for everyone to see. So please subscribe. Tune in. I'll have videos of me in the sky. I got a helmet cam. I got my paramotor. I got a wing already. So I'm going to be doing training videos. And uh, leave a comment below if you're interested in flying. You know, if you have any questions just to ask. And any comments. If you want to just... You know, say a bunch of rude things. Please feel free and subscribe. I want. I just want to help out anyone that's interested. You know. Obviously, this is an old paramotor. I bought it used, but it's only a 2018. It's just been through some a lot of probably uh, quite a few crashes. But since the last video, all I really did was tighten up my netting, get my gas tank back in. I got a couple spots where I just kind of tighten it up with some zip ties. Um, connected up the gas hose. Everything's connected there. Did the little things. Replace these. Which are like zip ties going through old holes that kind of wraps around it. So it uh, helps it, I guess, with vibrations. I don't know. That's the way it was, so I'm sticking with that. And, uh, like I said, if you guys have any comments below and uh, questions, feel free to ask. I'll let you know where to get a good propeller. I keep this is the second one I had to buy due to my landing on my butt. But yeah, this seems crazy, man. Thank you guys for tuning in. Hope you have an awesome day. Make sure you check out all my other videos. I'm putting all kinds of stuff up. I'll have more skateboarding videos. More videos about me doing just random things. I just got a new drone, so I'm probably going to start putting videos of that up. And uh, it's one of those drones that can follow you around, so... Maybe I'll put that up. Maybe not. I don't know. Maybe I'll get it to follow me on my paramotor. And uh, also, I do screen printing. So if you need screen printing done, by the way... I do screen printing, recording and mixing and mastering as well for bands in near the Swartz Creek, Michigan area. Thanks guys for tuning in. Have a great day. Stay awesome.